good morning my dear students of intermediate first year as well as second year uh, once again i'm in front of you to deliver a lecture now, according to the according to the routine um, i i should i should have conducted uh, a lecture on modifier 4 but you know that uh, in my last class on saturday i started right from subverb so i have started two grammatical items okay one is modifier that is right from subverb uh, but today i'd like to i'd like to focus on right from subverb uh, that's why uh, i'm sorry uh, according to the routine there was uh, modifier 4 but uh, uh, I, I don't want to conduct a class on modifier 4 today i'd like to focus on right from subverb dear students you know that uh, we we learned the definition of right from subverb actually we learned what right from subverb is then uh, we covered four rules and regulations of right from subverb today uh, we are heading towards rule number five and uh, it will take a long time it will take a long time uh, to confirm rule number five but i will not tell you i will not tell you about which rule i'm going to talk about uh, you have to identify uh, like other days i would like to start with a problem and you have to give me the solution and while you are going to give me the solution you have to consider what kind of grammatical terms we are going to discuss so the students let us have our first example for today and uh, from my side i want your uh, active and um, uh, regular participation like other days and uh, for sure uh, today we will learn some unique grammatical items and um, if you are still with me and if you remain attentive i'm sure you will get some um, uh, thrilling knowledge regarding a certain grammatical item and this grammatical item will help you to do well in your university admission test so dear students let us start with our first example and this example will indicate our today's a uh, target grammatical item okay so just to look at please The authority of Bangladesh one to wants to get the people want to get the people. the authority of bangladesh wants to get the people wants to get the people be under vaccination process Okay, this is uh, this is an example, my dear students. Um, uh, the authority of Bangladesh wants to get the people B uh, under vaccination process. What should be the answer? What should be the answer, dear students? I'm waiting. Mahi, thank you for being with us. Anundo, thank you for being with us. Faisal. Rezaul, Shakil, Rana, thank you, thank you. But give me the answer. What should be the answer here? The authority of Bangladesh wants to get the people B under vaccination process. Where someone has written R, someone is been, someone is is. My God, there are num there are a lot of answers that you are using. But what should be the answer? Bin, 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 bin. Most of you are taking R and bin. Okay, my dear students. Now look at. Uh, do you know what type of grammatical item we are going to discuss today? 
what do you think what type of grammatical item we are discussing today what do you think uh no no this is uh subject verb agreement is present in all the sentences of english but what type of gra a specific grammatical item we are talking about today okay look at my dear students uh, do you know do you no 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 uh, i am talking about right forms of verb but uh, today actually we are focusing on a certain rule of right forms of verb what is this what is this look at the authority of bangladesh wants to get the people be under vaccination process look at to get the people dash uh, do you know my dear student do you know causative verb actually today we are focusing on causative verb okay the authority of bangladesh wants to get the people dash under vaccination process the answer may be b answer may be to be answer may be r answer may be been there are uh, there are four options but you have to you have to there are four options you have to identify one you have to take one b or to be or r or been right now i will not give you the answer right now i will not give you the answer you have to wait to get the correct answer and if you want to get the correct answer you have to wait till the end of this class we will totally focus on causative verb today causative verb is an important segment of right forms of verb okay uh, today we will have a crystal clear knowledge about these grammatical items so my dear students we are going to talk about right forms of verb okay are you so you are 100 percent right i don't know what will be the answer but you have to wait you will get what the correct answer be or should be uh, i i am not going to give you the answer right now you have to wait and you will have to calculate the answer okay after i have taught you causative verb okay Uh, this grammatical item is really important for university admission test uh, very often questions are given uh, from this unique grammatical item and this is really interesting this is really interesting so we are talking about causative verb we are talking about Hatib Alam Shubo. You have written to be very, very tricky answer. Causative verb. What is the Bengali meaning of causative verb? Can anybody tell me? What is the Bengali meaning of causative verb? What is the Bengali meaning of causative verb? Write down, please. In Bengali. Hmm. What is the Bengali meaning of causative verb? Okay. Thank you, Hassan Ahmed. It is projojokriya. It is projojokriya. The students, the students, uh, what does causative verb mean in English? Look at me, please. Actually, uh, uh, what is the subject? Subject uh, is uh, something or someone. Uh, who or which does the activities in a sentence? The students, very often, very often, subjects or subject in a sentence uh, usually don't or doesn't do the work directly. This work is actually get done by someone. When a subject doesn't work directly, but it gets the work done by someone, okay so someone someone or somebody or something is forced and someone forces okay someone forces and someone gets forced in causative verb whenever you are going to use causative verb someone gets forced or pressurized and someone pressurizes okay for example mother makes me we are talking about we are we are trying to identify causative verb then i will talk about the rules and regulations mother makes me take medicine 
this one this is the example okay this is the example i don't know what type of uh, what type of form of verb will be used here i don't know okay look at mother makes me take medicine who takes medicine mother or me here this one me takes medicine not mother but mother forces me to take medicine okay so in this sentence we have got two verb okay the first verb the first verb is for mother and the second verb is for me okay in this sentence mother pressurizes or forces mother pressurizes or forces me and uh, this verb is actually this verb is actually completed or done by me in this sentence the verb which is used to pressurize is called causative verb okay so causative verb is make okay so causative verb is make and after causative verb or after make definitely you will get a person or thing dear students you will get a person or thing if you get a person a specific form of verb will be taken if you get a thing a specific form of verb will be taken okay so my dear students in a causative verb normally in a causative verb normally you will get at least two verbs okay at least two verbs we will have to determine the form of the second verb this is our target okay this is our target we have to determine the second verb of this sentence okay and this verb will be determined according to the use of different causative verbs and causative verb is taken after the uh, causative verb is always used before the second verb so my dear students uh, we know there are some uh, causative verbs we have to learn one by one so dear students in order to get causative verb definitely you have to get at least two verbs okay we need to determine we need to determine the second we need to determine the form of second verb okay here mother makes me take medicine to take medicine taking medicine taken medicine what should be the answer what should be the answer okay six eight six blah 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 someone is reading yes in bengali karta jokhon nije kas karna unno ke diye kuriye nai okay thank you my dear students uh, sorry all of uh, most of you are taking making mistakes to take to take to take okay uh, let me tell you my dear so let me tell you uh, the uh, let me tell you the answer along with the rules of causative verb in the meanwhile i have already told you that you have to you have to calculate the form of second verb this second verb is important okay So after causative verb, after causative verb, you will get a person or a thing. After causative verb, you will get a person or thing. At first, we need to know the causative verbs. Look at causative verbs are make, let, get, have, help. Make, let, get, have, help these are five causative verbs that we will talk about uh, there are some other causative verbs but these five are really important these five are really important okay dear students make sometimes remains a normal verb sometimes becomes a causative verb look at i make a kite is this make a causative verb what do you think is this make a causative verb i make a kite what do you think uh, give me the answer dear students ratul hassan from uh, adult college give me the answer is this make a causative verb this make is not a causative verb at all okay if this make pressurizes someone to do a specific job or verb this make will be causative if this make uh, pressurizes someone or something to do a certain verb this make will be causative for example 
I make you laughs. What do you think? This make is causative or not? This make is causative or not? Dear students, hurry up, give me the answer. Shamim Rani. Thank you, Ramon. So, this make is causative, this make is not. Like other, uh, like make, there are some other, uh, there are uh, four causative verbs. Uh, this four causative verbs maintain the same function. If you get a verb after, if you get another verb after let, get, have, help, this let, get, have, help will be causative. If you don't get, they won't be causative, okay. So, my dear students. Um, uh, I have uh, I have given another uh, question here. I make you uh, laugh or to laugh or laughing or loved. Make is really important for university admission test. Very often uh, questions are given from causative make. Uh, I am going to uh, start with causative make. Okay. After causative make, dear students, after causative make, look at please. Uh, there may be person or thing. So, whenever make is a causative verb, and if you get a person or thing after make, the verb will take. But we'll take the form of about have you noticed what have I written? What I have written? Uh, after make if make is a causative verb, you will get a person or thing. After person or thing, you will have to use you will have to use bear infinitive. Uh, today, my dear students uh, are making a lot of mistakes regarding the answer. Okay, look at if you get causative make after causative make, you will get a person or thing. After person or thing, you will have to use bear infinitive. You will have to use bear infinitive. Uh, someone has already asked a question uh, what is bear infinitive? Uh, okay, uh, someone has already given uh, the answer in the comment box. What is Bear? Uh, Mozam El Hussein. Bear infinitive means only V1. Thank you. A uh, good answer. But there is a uh, uh, information gap here. There is an information gap. What is actually Bear infinitive? Who can tell me? What is Bear infinitive? That is used after causative make. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay, okay. Thank you, my dear. So look at please. I'm going short. I'm going to show what bear infinitive is. Uh, do you know infinitive? Infinitive means the structure when we use base form after two. When we use base form, and if there is a two before this base form, this two plus base form is called infinitive. This 2 plus base form is called infinitive. If the 2 of infinitive is hidden, if the 2 of this infinitive gets hidden, this process is actually called bare infinitive. Okay? So, infinitive refers to the process when we put the base form after 2. And if this 2 is not displayed if these two is is these two gets hidden or omitted this process is usually called bare infinitive okay so for bare infinitive you are not allowed to display two is it clear my dear students is it clear okay thank you so there was an example Mother makes me 
take medicine now my dear students give me the answer now my dear students give me the answer now i think um causative make is clear to you and you can use the correct answer what should be the answer yes thank you i'm really overjoyed i think you have got me so after bearing after make after causative make you have to use a bear infinity bear infinity means please don't display to try to make it try to make it out of the sentence or the invisible okay thank you so we have got causative make but if my dear students if this causative make is used in active voice if this if this make is used in active voice you have to maintain this structure but if you need to change this in, into passive what should be the answer so the answer is mother makes me take medicine okay thank you this is the answer but my question is this is active voice who can turn this sentence into passive we are not talking about voice but uh, we should learn uh, this passive voice right now because it is related to causative make who can who can turn this sentence into passive who can turn this sentence to passive hurry up hurry up my dear students this is a really important grammatical term that we are talking about and you need to participate and show me the answer uh, i have told you to the give me the passive voice why are you writing the verb give me the whole sentence yes thank you mozammel hussein thank you mozammel has a hundred percent no 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 kabir you are not correct give me the whole sentence give me the whole sentence saifur rahman not correct uh nafiz iqbal you are absolutely wrong and so is masum abdullah no no sanaullah wrong bijay shil no uh, you are wrong jubair correct mushfiqul mahi correct Oh, sorry, Sabin not correct. No, 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 no. Abaydul correct, but I should be capitalized. Shadat correct. Aratul uh, correct. No, 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 no. Oh my God, you are writing some uh, ridiculous answers. Look at this, my dear students. This is the subject of this sentence. This makes is uh, this makes is causative, and I have taken I have used the best form. the students object is used just after causative make why are you taking the why are you taking medicine as object what is the object of this sentence me or medicine here me is the object that's why we have we need to convert me into subject that's why i will write i and this is an example of present indefinite tense in present indefinite tense as auxiliary of passive voice you need to use am is are for passive boys of present in defeat there are some, there are three auxiliaries you know that there am is are and you have to take uh, am is are according to the subject i have used i that's why i will use i am a lot of students have written was mama shaun why have you used my dear why have you used was is it a past in defeat tense no so i am then the past participle form i am made in passive voice this bear infinitive will be turned into real infinitive that's that means you have to display you have to show at this infinitive okay so in active voice you need to use bear infinitive but in passive voice you have to display this too so i am made to check medicine by mother can i give an example yes i need to
right now we have 351 viewers with us all of you are requested to give me the answer in the comment box at first i am going to give you an example and uh, try to i uh, try to give me the exact form of verb or a preferred form of verb okay the albatross made the wind blow the albatross made the wind blow give me the correct answer give me the correct answer the albatross made the wind blow what should be the answer dear students what should be the answer hurry up hurry up hurry up oh my god hussein kabir i'm really frustrated with the answer of you mustafiz rahman blow arman blow i have used to take bear in feet why you are showing two Mohammad Shajib, very sad, very sad. Mohammad Shajib, please, my dear student, try to use bear in feet, okay? Oh my God, Jia Rahman, oh my God, very sad, very sad. Jia, why have you used to? I have, I have used, I have told you to use bear in feet. Bear in bear in feet, you cannot display two. Oh my God, Monir Khan is a 200% advance. <laughs> Ratul is very serious with Albatross. Okay, thank you. The answer should be? If in Dagen University, a question is given, option A, blow option b to blow option c blue option d blown what should have what have you taken blow to blow blue blown the answer should be a thank you thank you my dear students now you are requested to give me here we have to use blow now turn this sentence into passive hurry up turn this sentence into passive as early as possible make it passive give me the answer give me the answer give me the answer hurry up this is, in, this is in active voice and turn this sentence to passive as early as possible. Yes, yes. Now, my, my dear students can solve. I think uh, causative make is crystal clear to you. Okay, okay. Very good. Very, very good. Mm-hmm. Feroz, you are not correct. <laughs> okay, thank you. The answer is, the object of the sentence is the wind. So, I should use you have to turn the object into uh, subject that's why i have to use the wind this is an example of past indefinite tense that's that's why you have to use auxiliary was then the first principle form the wind was made to blow look at this is and this is in active voice, you have to use bear infinitive, but in passive voice, you have to use infinitive. The wind was made to blow.
albatross okay okay just uh, try to mass, match your answer with mine i think most of you have uh, given me the correct answer most of you have given me the correct answer okay so my dear students uh, this is all about causative make for causative let what should be the process of using look at please make let make let get a valve these are the uh, five uh, causative verbs that we need to use correctly make after make you have to use bear infinitive for passive voice you have to use infinitive for let You can write this rule down in your answer scripts in, in future. In future, these uh, rules will be really handy for you. Okay. So, you can, you can note down these rules. Let plus person plus. Sorry, sorry. It should be thing. So. Of if let if let you if let is a causative verb definitely you will get a person or thing after let this person this person or thing is usually pressurized or forced by let and after force or after pressure uh, this person or thing does a certain verb or uh, completes a, verb, a certain verb let plus person let uh, let plus thing after person or thing you have to use then best form am i correct am i correct okay let me give an example let me give an example the president the president of the chair of the club let me go in the president of the class let me go in what should be the answer dear students what should be the answer hurry up very 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 good excellent 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 you are doing really well my dear students abu hasan time well by the grace of almighty so according to the rule we have to use best from after late okay the president of the club let me go in so if you get a causative let you have to use best form after person or thing the answer is uh, let me go in this is a correct this is a correct sentence look at this sentence the president of the class let me go in this is perfectly an active voice this is perfectly an active voice now another problem for you turn this active into passive the students turn this active into passive the students turn this active into passive hurry up hurry up hurry up who can give me who can give me the correct answer turn this sentence into passive Uh, you will take time i'm sure you will take time because uh, this is a sentence that you are going to that you are going to write i'm still waiting for you yes 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 
Imon, for the first time, I have got your name. Jubai Rahman. Oh my God, oh my God, you are making mistakes. Istiak is not correct. Jubai is also, for, also incorrect. Shobboshachi Nidhar, you are not correct. Faisal Rafi, not correct. No, no, Nafi is not correct. Nafi is Iqbal, not correct. Oh my God. 90% students are making mistakes. No. Samjit, you are not correct. Shamim Rani, not correct at all. Okay, okay, hurry up, hurry up. No, 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 no. Most of you are making mistakes. 90% is at least 90%. The percent may be more than that. No, no, very sad, very sad, very, very sad. My dear students, oh, sad. Okay, let me give you the solution. If you get a causative let, after causative let, you have to use the best form of the verb. But in passive voice, this best form will be the same. That means you cannot you, you cannot put to before that. For causative let, the second verb is not a bare infinitive, it's a base form. And according to the rule, if you want to turn it into passive, you have to use the base form. The base form remains the same. In active or passive of causative let. This base form remains the same. Look at the president of the club. This is the subject of the sentence. Let is a verb. Me is the object. So definitely I can say I. As this is an example of past indefinite, I should use I was. Then the, the past participle of let is let. I was let. You cannot change this base form. I was let go. by the president of the club is it clear to you is it clear to you my dear students is it clear to you what do you think tahmid ahmed dibon has asked me a question why uh, this is this is a grammar my dear okay so for let you cannot use you cannot use to you have to use best form both in active and passive okay oh very sad we have already talked about 38 minutes time is flying very fast okay now my dear students uh, we have already talked about two two vital Positive verbs. Another th three are waiting. Okay. Why we used was? Oh my God. Look at. The president of the the president of the club let me go in. Amit, uh, listen to what I say. Uh, do you know the three verb let let let? Present from past from past participle from. If you know the uh, just uh, try to calculate the example. The president of the club. This this is the uh, uh, the subject is third person singular. If it was a present indefinite tense. Definitely there were let. Am I clear to you? If, if this sentence was in present indefinite, definitely there should be yes or yes with the verb. As this let was in past indefinite or past form, that's why I haven't used, I haven't used yes or yes with the verb, okay? The president of the club let me go in. Here, let, here, the whole sentence is in past indefinite. That's why I haven't used, okay? 
uh, our third target is causative make let get 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 I will not give you the answer at first. I will not give you the answer at first. This is really interesting. Causative get is really interesting. Uh, my first example for you. I got my friends. I got my friends. Uh, okay, okay. I need to write two examples okay the first example i'm writing here mm. i got my friends i got my friends help me This is our first example. A second example. I got my mail. Prepare. In time. Let's just look at please. The first the first example is related to get plus person look at this my friends and the same the second example is uh, related to get plus thing now show me the answer now show me you are writing different answers okay no problem i will show you the correct answer i will show you the correct answer Give me the example, give me the answers of two examples, the first one and the second one. Mustafiz Rahman, thank you for giving me the answer, thank you. Uh, special thank goes to Mahadi, Mehdi Hassan, Iman, Shipra Shah, Obaidul Haq, SK Shihab, Shamim, Shaun, Deepamit. Deepamit, you have made mistakes again. Your both answers are not correct. Are not correct. Okay. Give me the answer. Hurry up. Give me the answer. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Try to calculate. If you if you get as causative after person, you have to use infinitive. You have to use infinitive. Uh, uh, isn't my, uh, uh, aren't my sentences clear to you? I think it's clear. After person, you have to use infinitive. And after think, you have to use past participle, okay? Past participle, clear? That's why you have to use for, for question number one, you have to use to help and for question number two you have to use prepared clear no don't try to prepare i have used person or thing i have used thing after thing you have to use first possible okay <laughs> Iman. i have uttered your name Iman. okay Crystal clear. So I have already completed a causative make, causative let, and causative get. I have you got, have you got this three causatives clearly? Before this class, did you have any conception regarding this, uh, these uh, three causative uh, rules clearly? Did you have any uh, perfect con uh, uh, conception? I think sh some you have had. I think. But most of you didn't have any a clear conception about causative let, causative get, and causative uh, make. Okay. Now, my dear students, I have another two causative verbs: causative have and causative help. Hmm. 
<laughs> now our next target is causative causative have like other other causative verbs after causative you have to get a person or thing should i give you an example should i give you an example my dear students actually uh, for causative um, get or causative um, uh, have or causative help okay uh, for causative get and have uh, actually uh, passive voices are not important okay oh my god you are you are you are really interested in passive voice but i have a very short time i have to uh, complete the causative verb today for causative verb i don't know the answer at first i will give you the problem show me the solution after solution i will guide my try my level best to give me my solution i always have my friends stay by me i always have my friends stay by me i always have my friends stay by me what should be the answer this is related to have plus person if i say i had my house paid paint before winter what should be the answer what should be the answer dear students i always have my uh, friends stay by me i had my house paint before winter hurry up hurry up hurry up give me the answers of these two questions okay I'm going to give you the solution after after have if you get a person you have to use best form and after have if you get a thing you have to use past participle form of the verb my dear students of intermediate first year and second year from Dhaka college or from other institutions of Bangladesh uh, try to uh, listen to what I say uh, if if you get a causative verb, uh, try to identify whether there is a person or thing. And if you get a person, you have to use the best form uh, in the second uh, in the form of second verb. Uh, for causative verb, if you get a thing, you have to use past participle. Okay? Is it clear to you, the students? Is it clear to you? I think it's clear to you. Our last example. Our last example. Oh, sorry, our last causative verb. You know that we are going to focus on. We are going to focus on causative help. At first, the example, then the question. Okay. We have already talked about, we have already almost talked about 50 minutes. She helped me get a good job. One example is enough for causative help. She helped me get a good job. What should be the answer? What should be the answer, dear students? Hurry up. Oh my god someone is this okay to get get getting got these are the four options you are writing or you are using my god 
so they have given me 1700 hundreds comments good <laughs> thank you you are participating really effectively okay uh, thank you a special thank goes to mohammed milon a special thank after after uh, help if you get a person you can use best form or you can use infinitive you can use best form or you can use infinitive okay the answer is get or to get get or to get uh, have you got the rules and regulations of different causative verbs i will take another one or two minutes okay today we have we have learned causative make causative let make let get have help look at this student look at please hurry up make make let let sorry 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 okay uh make 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 this chart is really important for you this chart is really important for you Try to understand what I am writing. Uh, these are the rules and regulations that we have already learned. Okay. My dear students, uh, it is uh, 11 a.m. Uh, I have talked about for almost uh, 55 minutes. Dear students, I don't want to talk anymore. Uh, I'm really overjoyed with the participation of you. Dear students, um, uh, I don't want to continue right now. Uh, thank you for being with me. Uh, I'm expecting to meet you very soon. Stay safe and blessed. Thank you very much.